take my money. Next level taken here, talking about Friday the 13th, the game, the final patch that will deploy, that will drop on Tuesday, November the 10th. I'm going to get into the patch notes in a minute. Also got gameplay highlights from Jason, oh, me, yours truly, as Jason, from a couple years ago. So enjoy those gameplay clips here. Now, let's dig right into the patch notes. It goes live Tuesday, November the 10th. Friday the 13th is Friday. So this is interesting. We're getting the, the last patch before Friday the 13th. This patch is going to roll out roughly 10 a.m. Eastern Time on all the platforms. PC, that's Steam, PS4, and Xbox One. The Switch version will be delayed. They do not have a date yet for the Switch version update patch. Alright, let's get into it. Combat stands, commonly referred to as sliding or teleporting. They fix an issue that allows players to manipulate combat stance changes. Now, players might still see... Especially in spectator mode, counselors attempting to perform that exploit. However, that's a visual artifact. Pocket knife issues. The instant break free by using health spray or firecrackers when grabbed resulted in not only an instant break free, but also people retaining their pocket knife. That's been fixed. Loss of pocket knives in circumstances where firecrackers are used has also been fixed. Jason. Gameplay. Ability to unlock and recharge rate toggle in private matches has been fixed to include both parameters. Lobby icon irregularities resulting in an inaccurate lobby icon fixed. Abduction. That's when Jason's able to morph while holding counselors. That's been fixed. Mask HP loopholes where use of a flare gun or firecrackers get the mask to come off too quickly. Fixed. Jason kill sequence. The kneel. The issue where the kneeling animation during the Jason kill process could be repeated has been fixed. Now for counselors, gameplay. Hiding under beds. Sometimes you get stuck in a way where Jason couldn't kill you. Fixed. While it's still possible in some instances to cause that bug, the counselor will be able to be killed by Jason in that state. Lobby icon irregularities resulting in an accurate lobby icon are now fixed. Numerous safe spots around the maps. People like to you know, bug and glitch out to fix, including the Pinehurst roof method by way of Tommy's bed. Players will now see an error if they roll and sell their perks too quickly. The game was locking up for some, and it will no longer do that. Players can then continue to roll and sell perks, being cautious of not overloading the roll system. An issue causing counselors' clothing options to not save properly when altering the color or items has been resolved. Tommy Jarvis' voice lines have been restored. That's interactions between him and Jason. As for general bugs, various interaction locks have been fixed, particularly those that occurred when players would input either multiple button presses or rapid button presses in short succession, rapid pickup and put down items, multiple inputs appearing with on screen prompts, that sort of thing. Fuse box and a fuse spawn for the cops has been extended to ensure that it doesn't spawn inside the house with the fuse repair box. Now with this patch, matchmaking will shift away from dedicated servers and to peer-to-peer -to -peer matchmaking for all matches. The game will still be playable online publicly with the quick play option and privately with the private match option. Now the forums are going to be closed soon, so you're not going to be able to comment. You can still get your comments in about the final patch at forum.f13game.com. There will be no new patches, no more bug fixes, so whatever bugs are stuck now, they're, they're in the game forever. Now, Black Tower Studios are the one that's handling this. Ilphonic no longer is developing this game or working on this game anymore. Gun Media is the publisher. Ilphonic was never the publisher. They just worked on the game. So just a heads up. Ilphonic did the Predator game. There is no trying to save this game. It's too little too late. It's time has come. But you can still enjoy the game. You can still play online. You can still play offline. There's still single player story challenges. There's offline bots mode. There's a virtual cabin. There's still plenty of content in the game to enjoy. There's no reason to get upset about it. It is what it is. This happens with all online games eventually. Eventually they are going to shut down. So... Let me know what you think about the final patch. Anything that they didn't address, let me know in the comment section below. It's been Next Level Taken. I do hope you enjoy the gameplay. 
and rock out to the tunes. Enjoy the sleeping bag kill that's coming up. Sleeping bag kill. I haven't seen this kill in a while. You.
please do the glitch on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should. Oh, oh. Make them remember, Jason. Make them suffer. <laughs>
few moments later. Going, Tommy. <laughs> oh my god. Like, share, and subscribe, turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. It's next level taken. Till next time.